evening from SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California, and welcome to the webcast of the SOWCOM 1A mission out of our West Coast launch site at Space Launch Complex 4E, located at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. My name is Tom Perdario, and I'm a firmware engineer here at SpaceX, and I'll be your host for this evening. Tonight, we'll be placing the SOWCOM 1A Earth Observation Satellite into a low Earth orbit for Argentina's Civilian Space Agency, or CONAI. Tonight's launch is scheduled for 7.21 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. That's 0221 hours Coordinated Universal Time, or UTC. SOWCOM 1A will mark SpaceX's 17th launch of 2018. This evening's launch is also an especially exciting one for SpaceX because it's the first land landing back at our Vandenberg launch site. Tonight, following second stage separation, that first stage will return back to the west coast of California and attempt to land on our brand new Vandenberg landing zone called LZ-4, which we'll talk about more later in this webcast. Right now, you're looking at a live view of that rocket out on the launch pad at Vandenberg Air Force Base, which is about 225 kilometers north of SpaceX headquarters, where we are right now. Now, Vandenberg is notorious for its fog, but as you can see, today is a very rare, clear day at the launch site. The only fog you can see is the gaseous liquid oxygen bleeding off from the vehicle itself, so it means that we're in great shape to launch today from Vandenberg. Uh, that first stage, uh, the two-stage Falcon 9 vehicle is standing 229 feet tall, which is slightly taller than a 21-story building. The first stage, which is the bottom two-thirds of the rocket right here, has nine powerful Merlin 1D engines right at the bottom. Uh, these nine Merlin engines will light a T-0 and lift the vehicle from the launch pad up through the Earth's atmosphere and into space. On top of that first stage is the black carbon fiber inner stage, and on top of that is the second stage, which will then, after separation, take the spacecraft to its eventual destination in orbit. These uh, stages separate at about two and a half minutes into flight, and the first stage is the part of the rocket that we'll be attempting to recover today. And this first stage is actually a flight-proven first stage that previously launched in the Iridium-7 mission out of Vandenberg, this exact same launch site, back in July of this year. While this would not be the first time we're landing the first stage launched from Vandenberg, all of our previous West Coast landings have been done out at sea via our autonomous spaceport drone ship fleet. This will be the first attempt to bring this first stage back to land at Vandenberg. You'll also notice there's a nose cone shaped structure right at the top of the rocket. This is called the satellite fairing. This fairing houses the SOWCOM 1A satellite and protects it until the vehicle is outside the Earth's atmosphere, at which point the fairing separates to expose the satellite to space for eventual separation. For this particular mission, we're not going to be attempting to recover the fairing. However, SpaceX will continue to make ongoing attempts in future launches to recover the fairing for reuse. With almost 13 minutes left until the launch, let's check in on how the rocket's doing as we get closer. <clears throat> we are currently working no issues with the rocket. That Falcon 9 you can see on your screen has been loading propellants since T minus 35 minutes. The second stage is now completely fueled for launch, and the first stage is on track to finish fueling about T minus six minutes before launch. Liquid oxygen, or LOX, is loading, on, at loading is in progress for both stages, and the next major activity is going to be the opening of the valves between the first stage propellant tanks and the engines to chill down their turbo pumps prior to ignition in the last seconds of countdown. The Air Force's West Range operates out of Vandenberg and monitors air, sea, and weather conditions. Currently, that range is giving us a go for launch. Uh, we track both upper altitude winds, ground altitude winds, and cloud rules for launch. And right now, all three of those weather conditions are both tracking towards a go for launch. As you can see on, on the pad and uh, the view on your screen right now, the sunset is just about finished at Vandenberg and uh, not a single cloud in the sky. So we couldn't ask for better weather for our West Coast launch site. One thing to note for our Southern California viewers, due to a twilight launch, there is an increased possibility of seeing the contrail produced as the rocket passes through the atmosphere from all of Southern California. Additionally, people in the close vicinity of our Vandenberg site may hear a sonic boom